gang so in this video we're gonna dive into the chuck bucket and the chuck rack and what it is it is a modular sports gear carry system as you can see in this instance it is set up for skis however you could carry a Christmas tree or two by fours or a narrow box in the back there it has a 275 pound rating it's got a two inch uh, receiver for the hitch uh, could be pared down to a one and a quarter. You lose some uh, capacity when you do that. And then most recently, this came out in 2021-22 season. And then most recently, we've got the bike carry system. And I'll show you how that converts and what's going on there. A little backstory. So started by Charles McNall and James Linton. Uh, Charles, probably where the name Chuck came from. The idea just an easier way to access your skis uh, on the slopes. In fact, it is so easy. My five-year-old at the time last season uh, was able to get his skis and put his skis back uh, when the bucket was tipped back. So that was nice. Uh, for van lifers, obviously much easier than either taking up room inside the vehicle because a lot of times that is at a premium and much easier than having to install a ladder or a roof rack system and then climb up there and then have to get things down and manage it from there. Uh, for the chuck bucket, uh, two quick cons that are easily managed, but just thought I'd point them out for the, for the critics out there. One, just like any ski rack that leaves your skis exposed to the elements, you gotta do a little maintenance, you gotta wipe them down. Um, true for the rooftop clamp style. Skis get dirty when they come off the snow, especially spring skiing. So you're gonna be wiping it down, whether you're getting it clean to put it inside your vehicle because you don't want it to drip and melt there, or you're throwing it up into a roof box and you wanna minimize the chance of rusting and taking care of your edges. So uh, a little bit of maintenance there. The other thing is there's no native or built-in locking mechanism for the skis. Now, the, the easy fix is the master lock Python style lock that's a cable and wraps around and cinches down and you know it locks it to the post in the back, minimizes the chance of those being lifted. Can be cut by bolt cutters if someone really wants to grab your skis, yes. And if at that point, um, you probably have a hard time protecting your skis anyway. So maybe not as, hard to get off as with a clamp style roof rack, but still there's an opportunity there for a deterrent. In our case, we're mostly going from our home here in Boulder, driving 40 minutes up the hill to ski, coming right back, and the skis are never left in the car or on the car by themselves where they run the risk of being stolen anyway. So it works great for us. As I mentioned, my son was able to get his skis in and out when it tips back comes back like that obviously to be able to uh, access your rear tailgate and uh, whatever else you have going on in there probably boots and whatnot going back up handy little lever system there is also for those of you that have trucks with tailgates or Jeeps and you have a swing door instead of a lift gate. Uh, there is an optional plate that allows for the rack to go completely per uh, parallel to the ground. So it comes 90 degrees down and, you know, depending on the exact configuration, most likely able to be able to then open a truck tailgate or the swing door on the back of a Jeep or a Isuzu Trooper or something like that. So let's pull the skis out and I will show you the bike rack system. Now they, they designed this to be incredibly simple to transition from bucket to bars, as I call them, because they're just rack bars. It's a vertical style carry. First of all, 
they used a bunch of cotter pins and just brace um, holding where they could. So pull the cotter pin out. That guy slides off. I just drop it in there. And all we do is unhitch this other cotter pin. Pull that out. Bucket comes right off. And what they've done is they've just built a larger diameter tube here. Again, just cotter pin that in to secure it to know that it's uh, it's taken care of. Now, and then the, on the bottom, for the wheels, the back wheels, again, cotter pin system drops it right in there. Now, just to explain the lopsidedness of it, It comes as a four rack. You can buy the extensions and they just slide into that bar. You take, uh, unbolt this guy, which is super easy. Slide it in, bolt it back on, move the end cap to there. And then same thing down here, pop that guy on there. And you have a six bike carry system find grabbing the bike by the fork right there so you can kind of tip the angle of the bars of the hand of the uh, handlebars and then pop it on there and then on the lower section the wheel rest you do have this nice big strap that's elastic that will hook there onto itself and then there's just like a volet style strap uh, that locks in the rear tire. Now this is my, my daughter's bike, she's nine. So this is a 24 inch tire, um, has no problem. And then my son's bike is a 20 inch bike. And it's light enough to kind of lift and hold into there. So even smaller bikes fit on there really nicely. Now they do recommend that you load from uh, the center out and balanced. Uh, also the hooks only have a certain weight rating to them. 40 pounds for the outer extension, 60 pounds for the outer of the standard uh, four rack, and then 80 pounds for uh, bikes that are on the center two racks. Of course, if you max out that capacity, you're gonna go beyond the 275 pounds of the hitch in the first place. So you do wanna be conscious of that, but um, those load up really nicely there. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on was the anti-wobble system that this has in place. There's a triangular wedge on the inside of uh, the two inch uh, hitch to go inside the receiver. And then you just twist on that hex screw right there that sucks in the triangle and causes it to expand beyond the, you know, the outer circumference of the hitch itself and makes it really nice and stable. So any wobble is just from the flex of the structure and not from uh, it riding in the hitch itself. So in this instance, as you switch from winter sports to summer sports or need to carry golf clubs in the bucket in the summer, very easy to go back and forth for whatever sports you're doing. And these guys say they have more things coming. They, they developed this and the, they started in 2021 in Utah and put this together. Um, it was released for the 2021-22 season with the Chuck Bucket and then working on the Chuck rack system for the bike came out in January of 23 this year. And now they're working on more attachments 
So check them out. I think it's either chuckbucket.com, I think still works, and I think Chuck Rack, they had to change the name once they realized that they were expanding. So there you go, the Chuck Rack. Get your gear there, easy. Thank you.